that little man is almost at the end. Look at that. Oh, he's getting there. He's been very tired. He's gone all the way along there, that little man. And he's nearly there. Ah, that's a long minute. He's going, he's going through the door. He's nearly through the door. Here he is, here he is. Ah, come. The door's shut. Oh. afternoon I think it is yes it is quarter past three and it's Saturday and uh, I thought I would haven't done well, I've been we've been kind of pottering getting some paperwork done and just generally getting a few jobs done or uh, well I've been doing some eBay jobs but I wanted to show you this because this lady has ordered two medals and uh, they're on the red white and blue English United Kingdom um, ribbon that they wanted and on the front she has asked me to put this on now I don't know if you can see it very well I'll try and see if it'll see if I can do it like that it says congratulations Charlotte Charlotte and then the symbol says lockdown stay at home and then 2020 and on the back she wanted it to say, let's see if I can do it there. You survived lockdown 2020 with us, mum and dad, two kisses. And she's got one for each of the kids. I thought that's really good. I've actually made the little centre for them. I found a logo that said lockdown and there's a little coronavirus symbol there. That's that little coronavirus virus which actually is very, very pretty, isn't it? Well, at least I think it's very pretty. And every time before this all took off, I kept saying, that's a really pretty virus. <laughs> Who'd have thought that pretty virus could cause so much chaos in the world now? Anyway, so these are obviously for mum and dad, so that when lockdown is finally finished, mum and dad can say, right, off you go. And before you go, we're going to present you with the medal. <laughs> I thought that was lovely. So these are going off to, they're going to be packed up and sent off this uh, weekend. Um, and uh, they'll be receiving these medals next week sometime. So um, what else do I want to tell you? Well, I'm, I'm putting a couple of little videos up. One is of my sister who sent a little comment when I was telling you about the Biro, Biro book, the uh, Biro recipe book. She made a comment under under the video and she said, and I've got one that's older than yours. Because this is a sister who lives in France and she, she, she we laugh about things like that. So I said, okay, then show me your beer book. So she's got it out and she's shown it. And she's done a little snippet of video, which I think you'd enjoy watching. She's also put a little snippet of a video because a, a stepdaughter is uh, has been commissioned to make masks for people because in France they approve them and uh, she's made masks and her husband who is very French very mature and very good looking for his age he rides a motorcycle and he wanted to wear a mask over his face so she, he's demonstrating how he puts these on same as England don't have elastic so he's got she's got he's got a tie that he ties it round and he shows you how he does it so you wanted proof here is the proof the beer roll book 39th edition usually and on page seven you have exactly what your hubby made you rock cakes see and uh, you've also got uh, victoria scones those are in the days of the empire. And I've got an even older one. Yes, this one, for example. The Penguin Cookery Book that I got when I was 20. That was a long, long time ago. Look how worn it is. And you can tell which page got used the most. The Christmas cake recipe. Christmas or birthday cake. 
that's the one that's been used the most as you can see and there's another funny little book around here it's the MacDougall's flower book of references tables and general information and there's all sorts in here there's uh, the population of different countries of course it's not up to date there's um, forms of address how to address an archbishop his grace the lord archbishop of and uh, how to address the king or the queen most excellent majesty uh, and then uh, you've got uh, you've even got uh, tables to tell you what a day was in the past. So, for example, I've worked yours out, Micheline. Uh, you were born on a Friday, I think. Fried across there. A Friday you were born. It doesn't suit you because, do you remember the poem? Friday's child is full of woe or something like that. I can't remember the poem. Anyway, that's you told. <laughs> so bye-bye from me. I'm going to send you another one with a, a little snippet of uh, the masks that Patricia makes. I forgot to film her, but never mind. I'll send you that. Bye. <laughs>
they're just little snippets of photographs but they're very it's very nice to see right well i'm going to go off and post the uh, and package these two medals up for the two uh the two brother the brother and sister i think it is and uh, i might catch you later on today after i've done this see you later Well, it's Monday morning, uh, Monday the, can't remember what day it is, and we're on our way to work again, and um, got a couple of jobs to do, and then coming back. I've just been to our local post office, got some stamps, and um, bought some salad, because although the supermarkets don't always have everything, our little local shop in the village has something, but you've got to, they will only let five customers in at a time, they wash the baskets, you have to take a basket, although I wasn't keen on taking a basket, uh, but they do wash it afterwards, and uh, I've done my shopping, my little salad, we bought some lettuce and some salad, and uh, now we're off to work, and it's a beautiful, beautiful sunny day, so, um, sorry, somebody's just sent me a message. <laughs> And how is his lordship today? Hello, uh, I'm clean today. He's fine, he's had a shave, he's had his hair cut, he's starting to look like he's in the real world. And, um, um, and, and, um, and um, he's, had a, he's had a good chat with his daughter this morning, just on the car phone. And on Saturday night, we had a quiz, a family quiz. We all did it by WhatsApp because they apparently Zoom, they, him and my son reckon that Zoom is not... Uh, it's not safe. It's not safe, they said, which I don't know, I don't know what it means, I don't know why it's not safe, but anyway, we had a great quiz. My son did it because he said, uh, he said he doesn't like, he doesn't like quizzes, so he says, I'll write the quiz. <laughs> and we, bless him, there was, he did the quiz, he was the question, the question master and um, my daughter and husband and two grandchildren they were on, the, on, on their uh, they were one quiz group what do you call it one um, team one team and we me and him were the other team and my husband Slow start. and my son's wife was a solo quiz taking part quiz team and so understandably she came third we came second and the daughter came third. She's not there, but the daughter came third. <laughs> yes, they probably cheated. There was four of them. There was four of them, although the two were only 10 and 11, so come on. I didn't even know the music, though. They knew the films as well. They see, we don't oh. watch many films, so they knew all, they were the film buff. And uh, the new, my daughter likes the music. She knows all her music. She's always been a 70s, 80s, 90s, you know, you name it, she knows her music. So does my son. Uh, that went into music so I, I kept we've got a, a music round where he gave you about four seconds of a song and you had to guess what it was and we got a couple we got a few of them wrong even though they were from our era <laughs> anyway, yeah but they were rubbish songs let's be honest not the kind of songs with a ball at the time and um, so as I say I think we had a great time Next, we're going to have the same thing next Saturday and the Saturday afterwards. Next Saturday, my daughter says she wants to be quiz master, and the Saturday afterwards, it's apparently going to be either him or me. I don't know which one's going to be the quiz master. Probably I should be the quiz master because I'm not very good at questions. He is. <laughs> anyway, we're almost in town, and uh, we'll see you later. Yeah, 
going round the town. The back of the house, it's the back of the shops. 